long prior to the 40-year ascendancy of the reformed Sith Order established on Drummond Kos, and prior even to Emperor Tenebrae's first purge of the Dark Council, a fallen Jedi found Sith Lord Naga Sadow, whom had escaped the battles of Korriban and fled to the fourth moon of Yavin. It was the Dark Jedi, Freedon Nad, who betrayed and murdered Naga Sadow in 4,400 BBY, almost 800 years following his defeats in the hyperspace war and at the Battle of Korriban. Freedon Nad, thus, although never of direct lineage to anyone in the Sith Empire, nevertheless is recalled to history as the ninth Dark Lord of the Sith, because even though the reformed Sith Empire of his own era was altogether unknown to, to Nad, he had studied briefly under Darth Naga Sadow before killing him. Nad conquered the planet Onderon and ruled as its global king from the capital city of Aziz as self-proclaimed Dark Lord of the Sith until his physical death in 4350 BBY. The Beast Wars, a protracted civil war on Onderon, followed Freedon Nad's death, and eventually Jedi Knights, led by Arcanian Master Arca Jeth, were sent to intervene. Following the Nadist insurrection, Freedon Nad's tomb was relocated to Onderon's jungle moon called Zoon. Sometime around 4000 BBY, another dark Jedi, this one named Exar Kun, abandoned his Krivaki master, Vodo Syosk Bass, and sought out the tomb of Freedon Nad on Zoon, the moon of Onderon. Following further tests on Korriban, where the Force Spirit of Mark Aragnos, apparently unaware of the existence of the contemporary reformed Sith Empire on Drummond Kos himself, proclaimed Exar Kun a true Dark Lord of the Sith. Kun eventually conquered Sadao's refuge, the moon Yavin 4 and totally subjugated the remaining Masasai warriors there. Ruling a distant jungle moon was not enough for this dark Jedi, who had been proclaimed Dark Lord of the Sith, and he soon used the ancient Sith battleship of Nagasato, long buried on Yavin 4, to seek out other fallen Jedi and potential converts to his new cult to build a new Sith Empire. His search would eventually lead to the Great Sith War. Exar Kun traveled to the Seven Worlds of the Empress Tita system, where he found a group of other Dark Jedi called the Krath, led by Alima and Satal Kito, and which was partnered with the Mandalorians of the then burgeoning empire of Mandalore the Indomitable. Taking one of the Dark Jedi as his personal apprentice, Exar Kun sided with the Krath of Empress Tita, the Tong Mandalorians, the Brotherhood of Sith from Osus, and, funded by High Lady Breswalt III of the planet Nysus, House Meshetti, established their cult as his own Sith Empire. Exar Kun led the Sith Brotherhood to attack the Jedi Library on Osis, and he personally slew the more than a millennium old Drythos Jedi Master Librarian, Odon Ur. He led this Sith Brotherhood of fellow fallen Jedi to rebel against their former masters in the Jedi Order, 
and intended to use them to aid in an attack against the Republic capital world of Coruscant itself. However, his Sith apprentice, Ulic Keldroma, had, while Kun was killing Odon Ur on Osis, taken it upon himself, against Kun's predictions of certain defeat, to attack Coruscant with his Teton, Krath, and Tong Mandalorian fleets, augmented by 300 additional Republic warships captured on Forost. In 3,996 BBY, Ulic Keldroma, Alima Kito of the Krath, and Mandalore the Indomitable launched a total war surprise attack on Coruscant. Retreating from the ground invasion led by Mandalore, while Keldroma attempted to use a force mind to trick to confuse the rallying Republican Jedi generals. His lover, the Krath Witch, Ali Makito, betrayed Keldroma and ordered Mandalore the Indomitable to retreat, reporting Keldroma was dead, and thus allowing Keldroma, who was unaware of this all, to be captured by Exar Kun's old Jedi master, Vodo Siosk Boss brought before the Republic's Supreme Chancellor, branded a traitor, and handed over to the Inquisition to be tried for war crimes and treason. At the trial of Ula Keldroma, his younger brother and fellow Jedi K. Keldroma, Jedi including Silvar and Nomi Sunrider, the Supreme Chancellor as judge and jury, as well as the rest of the remainder of the Senators, were all in attendance as Queldroma pled his guilt, arguing the irrelevance of the Republic. Just then, however, Mandalore the Indomitable and Exar Kun, the other Brotherhood of the Sith, and the Masasi warriors of Nagasadao on Yavin 4, now under Kun's control as well, entered the Galactic Senate where the trial was being held, and killing everyone in the assembly following a brief puppet show with the Supreme Chancellor's own bloodied head, freed Queldroma. As they departed, Exar Kun dueled his old Jedi master, Vodo Siosk Boss, and slew him. Soon after this, the final successful campaign of the Sith Brotherhood was waged in the First Sith War. Informed on his return by Mandalore the Indomitable of Krath Witch Alima Kito's betrayal, Ula Kildroma and Exar Kun assigned Kito to her final mission, using the ancient Sith flagship of Nagasado's weapons to detonate the five red giant stars of the Kron Cluster near Osis, which she did, dying in the process. During the resultant evacuation of Osis, Ula Keldroma slew his brother Kay in a duel, but was then stripped of his ability to use the Force by Kay's fellow Jedi Nome Sunrider. Finally, the Sith Brotherhood was brought down when Ula Keldroma stripped of his Force powers and returned to alliance with the Jedi and Galactic Republic led their forces along with Nomi Sunrider to attack his former Sith Master Exar Kun on Kun's keep on Yavin 4. Exar Kun used a powerful Sith spell to destroy his own Masase warriors, much of the surface of Yavin 4, as well as his own body, in an attempt to preserve his Force Spirit beyond death. However, Nomi Sunrider and the other Jedi on Yavin 4 were able to construct a wall of light, using the Force to imprison the Force Spirit of Exar Kun inside a black obsidian tomb below the ancient ruins of the Masasai Temple to Sith Dark Lord Darth Nagasadao. In all, only about four or five years had passed between when Exar Kun fell from the Jedi Order to re-establish the Sith Empire 
and when his force spirit was finally trapped on Yavin 4 by Nomi Sunrider and the other Jedi led there by his own Sith apprentice, the fallen Jedi redeemed Ulic Keldroma. Between the appointment of human male Jedi Master Sidorna Diath, a settler of Tatooine, as Supreme Chancellor of the Galactic Republic in 4000 BBY, at the beginning of the First Great Sith War, and his death fighting in the Krath Holy Crusades on Basilisk in 3997 BBY, the Republic underwent a massive upheaval recovery from which would last the entire restoration period of 29 years, from 3,995 BBY until 3,966 BBY, following the bloody Battle of Cathar during the Mandalorian Wars. Following Exar Kun's destruction on Yavin 4, the Mandalorians regrouped apart from the Tetan Krath and Brotherhood of Sith under a new Mandalore, Mandalore the Ultimate, and in less than a decade came to rule a greater territory than the Huts had amassed in centuries. On his deathbed, following his final defeat at the hands of the Jedi Knight Revan, above Malachor V in 3960 BBY, Mandalore the Ultimate confessed to Ravon that he had been tempted to invade the Republic by a broken promise of support from the then still unknown reformed Sith Empire. Ravon, after following a trail of clues in the form of ancient Rakata star charts discovered on Dantooine near the Jedi Enclave, discovered from the Treya Sith Academy on Malkor V, the importance to the Sith of Korriban, and while on his quest in search of these true Sith, referred to by Mandalore the Ultimate, was captured above Nathema by Darth Scourge and Darth Nyrus of the reformed Sith Empire. Eventually, Ravon was brought before the reformed Sith Empire's ruler, Emperor Tenebrae, by Darth Scourge. Following his killing Darth Nyrus, and taken on as the Emperor's new apprentice. This, along with the introduction around the same time of now Darth Revon's old friend Alec Squint Squinquar Gesimus, now renamed Darth Malak, eventually caused Emperor Tenebrae's original apprentice, the female Sith Exile Kreesh to flee her station in the Cathal Rift. She would later attempt to lead Republic forces in an attack on Korriban, however failed to sabotage the planet's defenses when she was assassinated by Sith apprentice Teneb Kel and his warrior slave Magat. Darth Revan and his apprentice Darth Malak were tasked by the reformed Sith Empire's ruler, Emperor Tenebrae, and the twelve-member Sith Council on Drummond Kos, with finding the ancient Rakatan superweapon from the height of their infinite empire, the space station called the Star Forge, built contemporary to the life of the original Sithari, King Adas. The Emperor hoped to use the Star Forge in a battle against the Republic, however Darth Revan had other plans.